is that to My, my name is Valentine Ezumi. I'm the Deputy Director in charge of Social Protection Services, which also cares for issues that affect our senior citizens in the country. From the Federal Ministry of Women Affairs, which is transiting, our own department is transiting, and to be joining the newly created Federal Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development. The Federal Government, in its wisdom, and going by statistics, has observed the increasing number of older persons in the country. And by older persons, the simple definition for them are persons who are 60 years and above. This definition is in line with the United Nations definition of older persons. I got to know about this empowerment program through a friend who introduced the program to me. And since I came here, I saw it as a program that was going to assist and uplift the aged uh, members of the community like myself. By the grace of God, I'm 68 years old, and since yesterday that we started this uh, empowerment program training, I was I've participated in the art of uh, soap making, and during that period, we learned two types of soap making: the liquid soap making and the organic soap making. This taught us how to prepare liquid soap making, both for local and. Uh, general consumption, especially marketing, how to produce liquid soap for marketing to empower aged people like me. We are taught how to produce organic soap. Organic soap uh, is known as black soap. When we taught, when we have been taught all these processes, I was excited to learn as an aged person. When I came here, there was options for us to choose. So I, cho I chose uh, Die, tie and die because when the options were laid, I tactically go through which one would be more convenient for me to choose. So that's why I choose die, die, tie and die. And uh, yesterday it was very wonderful because Mr. Obafemi Ogunleye, the to talk to the to, uh, lecturer, as I can call him, he, he, he took us through a very good uh, pro, a, a lecture yesterday. Through that lecture, I developed passion for this uh, tie and dye. Too much of the soda can shred the material. And, and at the same time, too much of it sometimes is good for thick material. The Nigerian government has observed that over the years, there is an increase in the number of older persons we have in our country. And they've not been able to put in place a lot of welfare schemes and programs targeted as addressing their needs, even at that old age. That's why, very recently, the federal government has ensured 
that the national policy on aging has been put together through a collaborative effort of all stakeholders starting from the state government international donor partners international ngos civil society organizations and indeed other stakeholders that have something to offer for our senior citizens and as part of that policy it was observed that there is the urgent need to address the numerous challenges facing our senior citizens and one of those challenges which we observe is that although some of them are retired but they are not tired we are here in lagos to empower the older persons and 30 persons are selected this is the resolution table where the participants register their names for documentation and that's what we are doing the secretariat of the program whoever comes in here is documented here for us to know who are the actual participants at the end of the program they are going to be giving take off grants they are going to start a small business based on the skill they have chosen i'm here to teach them everything that concerns soap soap making packaging and selling Yes, I told them about liquid soap and Ghana soap. Today I'll be teaching them bar soap, which is also known as kid soap, and many other things about soap making. I want, I want them to improve. I want them to be self-independent. So at the end of this program, they can, do, they can produce their own soap and sell. I'm one of the facilitators for the empowerment program. And We've been training them on soap making and organic chemicals. We did soap yesterday and we did we practicalized on how they will make the soap for commercial purpose and for other house shows. And it, it has gone so well. They are getting the old soap making. I developed joy passing and impacting knowledge to others. And um, for this very purpose of the interactive workshop we are having for the elderly, uh, I'm here to impact knowledge to our elders who are here as participants. And I'm not just impacting the knowledge, I'm making them to have form-filled interest in whatever I want to teach them. Like we are teaching print, I'm teaching printmaking and tie and dye, and the, make, uh, the use of merch and the squeegee. I believe that these are things that can be done by our elders at home at their own pace, without being pushed around or being stressed out. And I also told them that we are in a kind of age where you can make, you can place your order over the phone, and yet pay a logistic company a token and the logistic company will bring it down to your doorstep and here we go with your art and craft that you've learned. This is just a half yard and um, it's for practical tie and dye that is having prints at the background. So as it is, by tomorrow we are going on the plating method and how to do that. Allow this to dry a little, then we spread it on the sun, and the sun, then that's how it becomes permanent. That's to it. ensure that even at this old age, some of them are again fully employed in taking care of some of their immediate needs. The government has put in place this program, which is the economic empowerment program for older persons. The idea behind this program is to train our senior citizens from all the states of the Federation. At the moment, the government is carrying out this pilot program in Lagos State, being the first state in the Southwest geopolitical zone. And it is the intention of government to also take this program to other geopolitical zones of the country. 
So I think that this thing is good for people. I do people. You know, Baba is sitting there now. But he's doing this thing, practicing it. Instead of him to go and sleep. But when, when it's that time, he will just take this thing and be doing it gradually, gradually. Before we think that Baba will not know it. But now Baba is doing something. On Monday, Baba is afraid that which type of job is this? He said he wants a engine, big engine, to be doing weaving. So I learned to him that weaving is different from knitting. So this knitting, you know it. Then I teach Baba, I taught him how to do all these things. And he's been practicing. You see this cap, this cap now. You see, it's Baba that doing it. If it is me that doing it, it will not be like this. It will be neater than this. Baba is practicing this one now, he's doing it. And this is our job. It's not that we're doing one day, we cannot master it. Maybe one week or two weeks. But thank God that Baba is, he can do anything now. Yeah. Organic soap, natural black soap, then. I shed a shiny empowerment. I do pay for follow federal government. So, I got to have basic tax. So, I was at the I do without doing anything. So it's a great pleasure to have something like this. In this case, now, from now, I will be doing it for other people. I discovered that uh, I can still do something for myself. I discovered that I can still engage in production. In fact, I'm so happy. And uh, I want to give Kujo to the federal government and the organizer of this program because uh, it was well organized and uh, I hope the, the federal government will continue with this program. I am a retired administrative officer. Before now, I didn't know how to do tie and die. But with this uh, empowerment for Ministry of Women's Affairs, I've learned so many things about tie and dye and batik and different styles of tie and dye and how to resist some materials in order to do tie and dye. And I've also learned how to mix the chemicals and all the chemicals we use the tie, the dyes, the soda, and all the components of the tie and dye. Now I'm able to prepare the chemicals and to do the batik and how to do the different styles of tie and dye. The only problem that I'm just envisaging is how can I get fund to take off the only problem that uh, is confronting me now. 
Yesterday we were entertained in the morning with breakfast. Later in the, in the noon, they give us lunch. It was very wonderful. We really appreciate the federal government and the state government that try to organize this kind of things for we old people. In the proposal which my foundation, of which I'm secretary, the Old People Welfare Foundation, in our proposal to government, both at the state and federal level, we said, among other things, that government should endeavor to promote the elderly in the area of senior citizens product exhibition to tell the whole world that the elderly in Nigeria are retired but they are not tired. Once the gross domestic product is enhanced and people have export license to promote our product for the foreign market, for which it is duty free, then we can continue to smile to the bank and thank God for grace and favor. It's not restricted only to the tire and dye department. We have the soap making, we have the beads, we also have the knitting. I have to say, I have to so it is our prayer that after this program, as we'll be leaving you with some take off grants, it does not end all. You remember from day one, we told you to put down your names, your phone number, your local government area. It is for a purpose. Don't be surprised when we call some of you to say, How are you doing, man? How are you doing, sir? Is that small business? Are you still doing it? Do you understand? And we can send some people to come and have a look to see what you are doing and see whether you can build up on it. Like a discussion I had with one of your resource persons, one of your facilitators. He was even saying, and I've already told him, that that is what I expect even other resource persons to do. He should set up a WhatsApp platform for those of them who have learned the trade. So that through that platform, you can be engaged if you get yourself engaged in one small vocation, in one little activity that you know if you go to bed, tomorrow morning you wake up, you say, yes, I have something I want to do. Not that you will say, I'm going to bed. In the middle of the night, you wake up. You'll be turning. You are not thinking of what you do. But once you know that, if you wake up the following morning, you have something that will engage you. That will even make you sleep very well. Because you'll be looking forward to the following day. It's more done. Loneliness that makes people to age faster. But if you are engaged, even in this old age, I can assure you by the special gifts of God, I can see some of you here living up to 80, 90, 100 years. So that is why God meant in this wisdom that they should put this program together so as to engage some of you. And like you have seen in this program, is the beginning. Left to me, I hope I should be producing car wash soap that for people that are doing car wash around my area. By the time I introduce it to my children, they usually call all their friends. I did their suppliers. So I will the product I plan something like the tall, very minimal to be produced. I can still produce even for family use. Like some in our own program, we have what we call shampoo. By the time my grandchildren are around during the holiday, I can easily produce the shampoo to assist the guests to do their this before they do their air uh, do. So I very much appreciate uh, the government for giving us this opportunity to be enlightening our uh, knowledge 
and be exposed even that can easily put people through on this uh, seminar. We intend to sustain this program and to cover as many as possible our senior citizens so that with this kind of program in place after the training with the resources we are going to provide for them they will be able to use it to start up something start up a small business for themselves which will engage them and keep them busy even at that old age let me thank the federal government of nigeria for approving this laudable program of which the participants have all been testifying and that they really appreciate and also praying for the government to reach out to more beneficiaries. I want to assure on behalf of the federal government that it is our intention to ensure that as many senior citizens as possible would benefit from this program.